Okay, look, I completely get it. I'm sort of in the same boat as you when I'm watching a lot of YouTube channels because many people like looking into the future because, of course, we all get excited of things that we don't have yet, but we know are going to be cool, and I'm guilty of this, especially in making a lot of YouTube videos because all the mod roundups I've done so far just seem to be mods that are coming in the future and nothing that we actually have to get our hands on right now so i thought i'd remedy that and today i'm going to be going over five mods that you can actually play right now in mountain blade 2 banlord so make sure you check them out they'll all be in the description but without further ado let's get straight into the video first off we have the long night now the long night is the most recent mod that i've checked out but i think it does something really cool now it has its issues and it is still very early on in development which we'll get onto a little bit later the reason i picked this is because as you probably guessed it's based in the game of thrones universe and specifically focusing on the white walkers the white walker invasion that is coming from the north and it's your choice to either join them or defend against them now i love the custom map this is one of the first mods that i've seen that we can currently play that has a whole new custom campaign map they've managed to completely change the way caradia looks to make it look authentic to the game of thrones universe using of course the mod map editors and everything you can expect in order to create this mod currently you have all the factions which are playable dawn the north the white walkers the riverlands and so many more the map is very authentic and i think it is great it's quite small at the moment you can sort of go from one side to the other pretty quickly maybe they'll change that when more modding tools comes out and it's a bit more varied and accessible because it does feel like it is kind of crammed together everything it doesn't take long at all to go from one side to the other but i really love the way they've done this custom map and this is really the reason i'm adding it in because i mentioned issues and the main issues for this is the lack of custom skins so far you'll notice recruiting some of the northern warriors or some of the riverland warriors they seem very similar just to the base game mountain blade 2 banner lord textures for troops with swordsmen spearmen cavalry archers and so on and i think it's because they haven't really done much in that regard so far but they have focused much on the white walkers and this is really the main aspect of this mod and they're there are custom white walker skins and white skins which look funky to say the least they're not accurate to the tv show but they do look gruesome and i think just seeing them charge towards you is some terrifying thing now i'm sure that you're going to be able to play and they're going to add so many more of the new skins for every single faction in game of thrones but for now i think the best thing to do is to use this as the map mod and I'm not tested out if it's compatible, I will be doing this in a video later on, but using a different Game of Thrones mod, which I'll show in a later video, that overhauls all the Game of Thrones factions to use some authentic skins, so you can use the Lannister army or the Northern army, and putting those two mods together could be absolutely epic. But that's why this one is at number five, so it's not the best on this list, but I think it does something really exciting by changing the actual overworld map, which not really any mod has done that successfully so far. Next, we have... Ronin. I've actually done a full dedicated video on Ronin and I think this is the most advanced mod set in medieval Japan so far. It gives you two new factions to play around with and you can actually do if you want a full campaign with them if you just stick to your side of the map. It sort of takes over the Kyrgyz land and makes them into this pocket of Japanese history and it's so satisfying to go and play and see all the new armies. Now of course they do have some authentic armors but they also have some wacky and wild colored armors with green, red, blue, whatever color you really set your banner as it can make some of the armors look like that um, it's quite entertaining it's not the most historically accurate but i think it's cool for some power ranger style matchups you have some great infantry some overpowered infantry if you want to see how overpowered they really are make sure you head to the video i uploaded yesterday on these japanese samurai versus the roman legionaries from a mod that i'll get onto later in this video and boy are they overpowered they are very strong but overall, I think this is a great mod for introducing you into Japan and eventually, hopefully, they can completely converge the whole world to look like medieval Japan. I mean, currently so far, you can just go to war with the Empire or the Sturgeons, if that's more your thing, just with Japanese knights. I mean, it looks pretty cool. Next, we have Rome. This is the Eagle Rising mod. Now, there's been a couple of Rome mods, some more successful than others, but the Eagle Rising, I think, does the troop overhaul in the best way possible. It has not necessarily the most authentic but i think the coolest looking arms and armor in the game the lorca segmentata the lorca hamata and of course the scutum shields and gladiuses you can even get praetorian cavalry wearing lorca segmentata with their huge shields and spathers and they look brilliant now fighting in formation with these guys just looks absolutely epic you've already probably can tell because you've seen the amount of videos that i've been using with this mod and 
there's going to be many many more because i just think it looks absolutely amazing what they've done with the roman skins in this now currently it is just rome has been overhauled there's a few extra bits in there but i think pairing this with some other mods or hopefully they end up creating much more skins and more troop overhauls for the other factions so you can actually fight britannic barbarians or like the swebby tribes and so on or even fighting some greeks or something like that would be brilliant currently it's just the roman troop tree that's been done but i think they just look so good i've been using them in so many videos they had to be on this list because of course you can play this mod right now coming up second to last is perhaps one of the first mods that really changed the troops in a big way for battle lord and it was one of the first mod videos that i ever made and i thought i had to add it on because i mean it looks cool it's based mostly off the comic books and the films so don't expect historical accuracy from this mod but this is a spartan and greek troop tree overhaul it does as it says on the tins it does an overhaul for the spartans and full greek troop trees whether you want to use hoplites peltists even cavalry in there they're all overdone and they look brilliant as i said it's mostly based on the comic books and the movies of 300 so you're going to see some spartans that don't have adequate armor to go into battle but it looks amazing they are very powerful with their spears and shields and also using the ziff or sword yourself you can fight in battles now i don't feel like there's enough in this mod currently to do a full campaign if that's more your thing and it's sort of a theme that we're going to find with a lot of these mods they seem to just overhaul at least currently one faction which means that if you try and do them in the campaign you're currently just going to get that one faction against the rest of the native vanilla mountain blade factions but doing a bit of mixing and matching or just waiting for further development updates i think we're going to get some amazing overhaul mods that will eventually eventually completely change every faction in the game and that's really what we're waiting for and speaking of that is perhaps the final mod on the list and really the reason it's the final mod on this because i think it is the strongest and the best current mod we have for troop overhauls or really in general for banner lord it creates a new world but still keeping very faithful to what tail was created this is the rearm and reskin mod for mount blade 2 banner lord it takes the medieval look that we all know and love but cranks it up to 11 new armor new weapons new troops completely throwing historical accuracy out the window but putting in banassery instead and my does it look amazing this video i made a few days ago has had such good reception from you guys you can obviously see why this is such a popular mod it changes nearly every single troop tree in the game for every single faction and the amount of effort that has been put into it i mean modding tools have only been out for a few months and already we have stuff like this and this is the reason it's number one on the list because it's the most advanced you can see the developers have put more effort in than pretty much any mod that i've seen not only is the amount of different variation in there but each armor and each troop no matter how varied they are from one another they all have some so deep details in there you can spend ages just looking at the armor and weapons that they all use and of course there's tens if not pushing on hundreds of new troops that you can play with mess about with i just did a quick custom battle for my video and even then there was too many to get through i couldn't get through every single faction because the amount of changes and additions that they put in the game is mind-blowing this is the mod that you should play if you want to play a pretty decent and fleshed out troop overhaul in mountain blade 2 panel so far and of course it will be down in the description so which one of these mods was your favorite make sure you leave a comment down below and if there's any more that you want me to add onto the next list make sure you leave that too but without further ado please subscribe to the channel and leave a like it helps more than you could ever know but until then i will see you in the next one